Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones, where we are playing as House Seadrake for the first time as Magister Melis of Dragon's Mark, uh, March after the death of Lord Valeran the Poet. Here we are, already 56 years old, melancholic, <laughs> widow. I don't know how long we're going to be um, in charge for. As uh, our Air Hagen, calls most of the flatlands up here. But, when I get right into it, we have started a funeral for our father. And there's apparently a sickness coming through the south. Of course, our capital is down here in Drake's Bay, but we also co-rule the city of Pentos. Which is going to make us a lot of money. Especially since we have um, sort of worked hard to illegalize this. Um, let's say quite prayer. Uh, we've or legalized slavery, which is making us a lot of money. Lemon crowd declares his body incorruptible, because be ascended. Absolutely. I mean, I if I have a chance to make a legend for him, I'm going to make a legend for him, because he is one of a kind. So we are going to be one of... The fact that this is, by the way, a level 7... Yeah, level 7 castle holding is mad. And then a city holding of a level 5. It would cost a lot to upgrade the Palace of Prosperity itself. Um, but our, our main primary hope is to invest in Drake's Bay. To change the culture, which is only... It's, it's really, really close now. It's actually probably... Uh, well, I could destroy some of these. I'm not going to punish destroy any of those. But we can... Upgrade soon, hopefully, Drake's Bay to a holding level three because we will no, it will no longer be Pentoshi, it will be Valerian. Uh, Valerian, Valerian does have the hoardings. Um, yeah, no way I'd want to ally with my rival, this asshole. We are now up to 20,000 uh, money. Pentos down to 5,000. We should be the largest power. Yeah, we're the largest power in Essos by a lot now. But of course, our focus is also going to look to becoming the largest power in the world. I think I want to do a grand tour. A taxation tour. That is going to go... I can only go these ones? I still can't do these ones down here. That's fine. Increase the starting success. Hopefully this tour should earn us some good money. Because we live for money. That's I guess the whole point is oh that's some immediately get paid 255 gold. We'll take that. Oh. Making my full on nemesis. He's my half brother as well. Through second wife? Yeah, through Amara. A shoe tax has been brought in. Look at this guy. The form is disfigured and a drunkard. No wonder I've become his uh, foe. Oh, and I've got given myself a stomach ache. What's my health overall? Still fine. Have uh, enough things to offset that. Which is good news for us. Definitely want to hope to get a better weapon one day than this. I emerged from my slumber. 
As I regain consciousness, I feel something heavy beside me that was there before, an entire keg of mead beside me by a lover. Is it the gift? I'll take the gift. But he's refused to pay my tax. You bastard. Cedric Lamina Armor. Well, that's an upgrade at least. Oh, he gets an extra captain. Okay, not too bad. How does my father not have a legend seed? This, I don't know how legend seeds fully work. I think maybe if I do the search for legends, I may be able to find one of him. Hello, it's a very weird um, system in my opinion. Upgrade that for the uh, extra base tax, which in Pentos is just going to stack massively. He refuses the tax. Everyone's refusing my taxes. You're my own son. Just pay the tax, lad. I think the jugular at this point may be the cheapest county I have. My best at. Can't believe my son won. That's a very embarrassing moment, losing to your son in chess. Perhaps I couldn't do a feat in the baked lands. Would really would have thought I'd be allowed to do one there. Yeah, I don't have an issue. You were repairing that though. Why don't I gift my son the armor since I no longer need it? Such as the rules, the Merrim was considered highly offensive in Pentoshi culture. Hmm. I do a diplomacy challenge. Okay, okay, good. That could have gone bad. Darren is my main loyalist. Can I just recruit you as a courtier? Great. Because you might, then I can, I think, just make you flat out my antiquarian as well. Why is he an average? That's almost bizarre. His skill's legendary across the world, but he's average. Whereas if I pick these... Okay, I guess I'll go for Alyssa then. She's somehow better than a guy who's apparently legendary around the world for this exact thing. the safe route. That's even worse. I've got a domain tax bonus thing. A harbour master. And then we want to get a point Helena for one that will get me more skills there. Davos can serve as that. Helena would also make a good captain of my household guard. I trust Helena a lot. Maybe forged to do so, but I think I'm right to do so. Make her a court poet, too. Could just give my daughter every single role, apparently. She's just that good.
She has like a hundred rolls at this point now. Okay, there's some rolls she can't have more to block by the looks of it. So she can't be the captain of... Unless I... Yeah, she can't be the captain of the household guard as well. Who likes me enough? Finish our grand tour. And declare like a hundred wars, my goodness. Declare war on Mia. Raid for slaves off of claims. Don't really want to do either of those. What are the duchies in here? Hmm. Interesting. Could start trying to get a claim here just to see if I can get a claim on the duchy. I consider that worthwhile. Not too much longer on promoting culture. Just two more years. Do a tournament at the Temple of Relore. Recital. Archery. Horse race. Duels. So we're 630 for the best prizes, which is what I want to do. So 630. And then I could have Shayna as my champion, too. Be a good champion. Let's speed up a bit and let's see if we can get afford to do this without having to wait too long. I'm just going to go at 5 speed for a little bit to save up for a moment or two. I'm finally picking up a Pentoshi, the, pe the Pentoshi brooch, because it's not that great. And then this next month should give us what we need. Wonderful. Let's start our brand tournament. Shayna will be my champion, because I... I don't suck, but that's only because I have so many weapon bonuses that I've picked up from my items. Without those items, I suck. What I could do is... Hmm. Yeah, rakish. Milk of the poppy stupor. Uh, that's fine. I'm already an addict, that just makes sense, that's why I'd go for. Let's get you in Olinos. Yep, that should be good. In trying to learn the recital. My wit is very, very good, so that's probably where I'm best to ever go for. Revisit this again to get. There we go, this should. Ooh, a lovely gob. Is that a equipped item? Is that put in here? I think it's in here. It's the Sea Drake Goblet. Prestige and a Court Grandia bonus. So our Court Grandia is up to 6 right now. But it's, it's going to slowly rise to 100, which is good news. It's Mighty Grand Tournament to celebrate my ascent. Visit the Tisanal Quarters. Exquisite Crest. Sure, if it gets me Renown. We could do with a Renown bu uh, buff, because we're actually only a bronzed Renown uh, as despite having 40 living members. 
An inspired person can be sponsored. Another master. Go ahead, buddy. Replace the Pentoshi brooch with uh, one of my own, hopefully. Okay, increase my score slightly. Oh, 99% on this. Surely that's got to work. Oof. Perfect. I'll go in debt a little bit, but that's a game exactly what I wanted. Uh, take the largest chance. One last verse. Oh, we didn't... How did... I, I got, like, every single positive event and we lost. God damn it. Okay. What I want to look at in the meantime is... Is this the duchy capital? Yes. So, let's see if I can also get a claim on... Because if I can just take these two duchies in one war against me, then... That doesn't sound like too bad an idea to me, because I believe my alliance with them already ended because um, the marriage, or the one he was married to, or she was married to, is already... Um, that I can have one with my nephew-in-law, the Lord of Lease, for sure. I'm fine doing that with Lease, just because Lease is so weak that I'm not going to go for them for a long time. But if I could secure, like, you know, forging an empire down here, whether it be the three daughters or one of Pentos up here. We could be in a really strong spot. Hmm. Oh, bloody hell, that's expensive. Fine. I mean, I know I'll get it back quickly, but that's a little annoying. Yeah, this that was one I was expecting to not be too great in. My wit contest, like, my wit ability just dropped in the middle of a... Trying to qualify for the tournament, that's certainly something. I think I was quite expecting that. Just in the middle of a, the competition, I suddenly become absolute crap at something I'm supposedly a master of. I guess maybe I got so upset I didn't win the recital that I just became shit. Or maybe I was in a milk with a poppy stupid the whole time. That is honestly equally likely. I think he's not taken this one yet. Looks like he's going to be taken by... Is that an actual Blackfire? It is. One of the last remaining Blackfires. And he's actually landed, too. Oh, sorry, she's landed. Lady Shea. Her heir being Visenya Blackfire. Magister Maker breaking the rules. No, no, no. Surely it can't be allowed. Hundred and fifteen. I would prefer not to continue spending money over and over and over and over if possible. Go for six the sixty four percent. Big money, no whammies. Oh my goodness. Seems I just am awful at everything. And now we're going to qualify for a duel. An existence of a scheme to murder me. The 5% scheme, but I don't know any agents in it. Oh, how dare they? 
How did they even consider it? Who could be behind such a maddening scheme? I must say, it's interesting how... There's a different sort of um, style to these compared to these, because he's a lord. Yeah, he's a full-on lord. Interesting. Is that a victory? But Shaira lost. Shaira didn't even qualify. How do you not even qualify for a tournament? None of my brothers or my uh, cousins got eliminated. Okay, 100 coins for him to give up. And say we dispense with gold, but add an obligation. My brother-in-law, sure. I'll give him a, a loyalty hook. It's just that I can ask for a hundred gold for someone. From Mia? Hell yeah. I assume that's from the loyalty hook then. Well, yay. I could celebrate my victory by killing you or by defeating you in a war right after. Elliot Kazaro beat him. Well, congratulations. Well, sorry, I surrendered to him, I mean, but I got gold out of it. I, I wasn't going to win anyway with 32 prowess compared to 47 prowess against him. And honestly, I would have got more I got more money by taking the hook than I would have got by taking it normally. And now I can celebrate by taking a duchy or two off of him. Like any true man would. Let's upgrade some of these. Bunch of new artifacts. Save up to get this one because this is a weave inspiration. My goodness, I got it just hit it twice in a row. And the claim on both of these. Wonderful, wonderful. Definitely going to do a war then, because I can basically just claim a lot of North Mere all at once. Claim the other side of the river, secure our position. Good stuff. Is there no to station this? I was going to say, surely there must be. Go for my claims, shall we? And then we're gonna save up to get the weave inspiration. Uh higher to keep him in my court. And raise our armies in the south. First time we've been able to raise them in the south in a long time, it feels like. Right, so this is where I want because this is Imagine he's come all this way, fought in a tournament in Pentos alongside me. I've been like, good sir, what a kind gentleman you are. What a great fight we've had. And then i would like, I want to thank you for this wonderful tournament, sir, by <laughs> attacking you in your homelands. He probably has defensive advantage here. A pretty good defensive advantage too. But I should still win this. Losing a lot more men than he is, though. Very bad fight for me to have taken. Yeah, very bad. Like, percentage-wise, I'm going to lose more from this than he is. I don't need Lee's in this. I can handle this myself. They'll flee past me, but hopefully we'll get a siege event. 
before he can take uh, Bilipus. There we go. Oh yeah, Lease could turn against me. He better not. Especially with that weakened army. Oh, and that's exactly why we invested heavily in that. Mm, perfect. A domain limit bonus. That's going to be for every future generation. That's an incredible one. We're going to revoke your title. Take back Dragon's Peak. Oh yes, I love Dragon's Peak. That is absolutely perfect news. I, I genuinely wasn't expecting a domain... Like, domain limit on anything is probably the best, if not one of the best bonuses you could hope for. So I'm definitely happy to get domain limit out of that. Now I just want a really good, like, crown. Well, really good anything. Blessed artifact. And that's forever? Fine. I'll... If that's forever, then I'm actually willing to pay that. Especially since I can ransom to get a bit of this money back. Uh, we'll resign you to there. Sign a new Chancellor. So this is already a Saucy Vatherian. That's wonderful news. Maybe I can try starting up here, but it's probably best to do it in the Mandible next. This means, though... I can now, when I've got a thousand something gold, I can actually upgrade uh, Drake's bait, which is fantastic news, because that's absolutely what I want to do. Let's get upgrading that. Yeah, he's got way better recovery than I have. I may actually spend a little bit here just to recover my army a bit. Because if I stay here a little while, I'll slowly start recovering my troops back up. Then take him again, as this is a defensive battle. Should catch the small army. So at least has joined the war. Very disappointing. Would hope he'd stay out because he is my ally, but I think I'm going to catch him. Yep, catch him all by himself. Catch him again. He loves to run. I became obese. I gotta go work that off. Hopefully I can get athletic out of this. I'm just gonna stand there. Yeah, I should have the entire attack vantage here, I was gonna say. Oh no, he still does. Oh, because he's actually a really good commander himself, that's why. And then we're just going to stay here and recover for a bit. A new sword. A legendary mace. Hell yeah. Or a potential of a legendary mace. God, I lose a lot of money because I'm so willing to accept a lot of these. We'll enforce. Oh, I have to wait until he finishes considering the request. There we go. Span these, and then my intent is just to give the capitals to one of my sons. Because these are Dutch Towers. Or maybe my nephew here. Give it to Jaheris. And then give him the city title as well. This one's crap. So whoever's going to get it is going to have to do a lot of investment to make it worthwhile. Look, okay, we're just giving it to a whole bunch of sea drakes because my hope is that eventually these sea drake lines are going to form their own lines. Because, you know, we're, we're trying to slowly, you know, we're empowering our own dynasty. As time goes on, I don't think these are going to stay sea drakes forever. In fact, I'm almost confident they won't stay sea drakes forever. And no doubt in the future, I'm also going to be, you know, giving out uh, titles to new Valyrian fam uh, families we find along the way. Range of marriage between Shayna and you. You literally just betrayed me in a war, so that's not going to happen. Am 
my rival is having a hunt and he invited me. Oh, he's, he's kind of... Is what he's my rival and also not my rival? Because we have 88 relations of each other. So he's my nemesis, but we actually really like each other. That's, that's actually kind of fun. I like that. Oh, health boost. I'll take that. Time goes on, we'll earn more and more money. Oh. Severely injured. All these modifiers. Unknown plant rash as well. Yeah, we're on poor health now. Probably makes Hagen excited. Even though he's off at war for some reason. What's he fighting for? He's just raiding Tarosh for slaves. That's how bored Dayron and um, Hagen have got. I don't blame them. They're pretty. It's pretty fun that these two are just hanging out all the time doing stupid stuff like this. I kind of love it. Get our court grandeur up. What's our court like now then? Oh, a very stylish looking court, you have to say. And Toshi War Banner here. Keep that. Sea Drake House Banner. The Sea Drake. We can replace the Dynasty Banner with this tapestry. This, this is a very nice looking sort of art style for the uh, our court. Machicolations. The hunt fails. So that is oh more more fortification buildings, pretty good. See, he's in a civil war, a liberty war, where it's basically just the rebels. So that's not going to go well for him. And for Ard Ard Ross Tully against Hagen, that I had short hair and I got the longest hair in the world. What the hell's going on with Eris? Eris the smoldering flame. He's not even, like, the fit disfigured. He just, he wears that face mask because he wants to. Apparently the same with Aaron. They just wear these face masks because they want to for some reason. How odd. Baylor Targaryen. Handsome grandson of on both sides because I assume they're, yeah, Daenys and Aegon were um, brother and sister. Maybe we'll explain the health complications. Just saying. Um, you know, no, we'll place that one with the prize necklace. A new statue. The sea Drake statue. Back for law. I can go back inside again. 120 days travel. Bloody hell. Just to get to one place and back. It is interesting how the duchy colours sort of give away which is Mir and which is uh, Pentos. An adventure inspiration. These ones have a lot of potential in them. You can get Valyrian steel swords through uh, adventures. We can get dragon eggs through adventures if you have uh, some mods. I never have a chance to, to upgrade my uh, capital because all these adventurers keep asking for 200 odd gold for their thing. 37% culture acceptance. Pretty good. My daughter died in childbirth. That she was executed on your orders. You bastard. Let's see if we can get a mur if we can murder him. Get you to support my scheme.
Bring foreign talent to your courts at the cost of scandalizing your vassals. That's an interesting thing. I didn't know you could really do that. Artifacts market. Have your artwork. I want to possess something truly unique. This is the best one on the market right now. I immediately got exposed. God damn it. See if we can invite some claimants in. You have the, may have the inspiration I crave. My lord, I am seeking a theme for my next work. Could you tell me who your favorite hero is? Me! I've been here the whole time. Hold court? So why I sit in the throne in a very interesting way. I called Edmund here in the sensitive, uh, it's sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Mia. I can forgive him. I can imprison him. Or I can cut off his head and people will lose a tiny bit of opinion. I'm going to have to cut off his head. How dare you? You're giving information to Mia? Mia and Lise. Oh, extra diplomacy. Oh, this one's just a guaranteed good one. It just cost him a bit of stress. That's fine by me. Court Grandier is up to rank 9. So that gives us more monthly renown, captive effectiveness, an extra two captains. Can give royal favour and manage royal guards. Yeah, it's a pretty good stuff. Men at Arms counter efficiency is really, really good from a warlike council. Especially when you have Dragon Knights. I mean, Dragon Knights are so expensive. Oh, a new book for all called Tales of the First Magister. Just gives monthly Diplo lifestyle. But hey, that's not too bad. Oh, I just need to repair it. That's what I was saying. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Find abandoning the scheme. Though I'm I'm annoyed he would dare executor. The city of Morgos. So that's run by the Nine Eyes, right? Oh no, but it Your sister has Bela has married with my son Hagen. There's grave insult and a stain on your family's all my He divorced his wife to marry Bela. Hey, Goodness. I'm not even sure what to make of that. Because what I was going to say is that this was formerly Nine Eyes. Okay, yeah, it was Lord Rogos. And then he died and lost it. Why would Hagen do this? Liana's is still alive, so it must have been that she divorced. Yeah, and she divorced her former spouse, Arios, to do this. So they both divorced their former partners to marry each other. This is unacceptable. Part of me thinks maybe I disinherit him for this, because this is almost treasonous. I wonder he's an adulterer. Ah, uh, I, I can't. I can denounce him, though, and I am going to denounce him. For this shameful act. So you can't say I did nothing, I just did next to nothing. You better be able to win this war. Okay, no, there's a thousand versus a child with 300. Yeah, he's not going to win that. Court, what does Court Grandier 10 give me then? We get. Oh, we get extra size of our men at arms regiments. 
Oh, look at that. Levy reinforcement rate plus 40. Holy, that is a beautiful weapon. Doesn't have the prowess bonus of Valyrian Steel, but it's really well. Like That's very, very good. And I could commission some regalia, because I don't own any right now. Hell yes. Yeah, they're going to lose this war. That's unfortunate. Book. I'll pay you a tiny bit of money to go write a book. Who knows? Oh, crystal carving, prestige, domain taxes, renown, and a court grandeur bonus. We're getting some really magnificent items from these. The crystal carving. Look, oh, that is beautiful. That is real nice. Shayna marry to Kazaro Malar. Um, no, because I'll be honest, I don't especially like you all that much. I lose widowed, but I still refuse marriage. Um, yeah, it's 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 a slight slight moving on, but it's hard to move on after what's happened. How can I get a claim on next? I could try and get a claim on Besna here. Or Brennazar, Bren and then try and get one on the outskirts too. But Brennazar's going to be our first one we try. And then we can look at Pentos as well, because it shouldn't be too hard to get a claim on Velvet Hills and the Prince's Shore, because we border both of them. Dragons and more will have a proper herd. You get a cow herd for dev growth, a large cattle herd for even larger dev growth or money. And this is in the Dragons Moor itself, so the main. Yeah, we're going to try and get the large cattle herd to get that dev bonus up. I could upgrade the military academies, but I. I'd rather upgrade this to a level 3 keep when we have the money. I think that's about the thing. It's so funny that I consider him a friend and we're really good friends after I declared war on him and the <laughs> duchies from him, but he's still like... You know what, he's, he may have done that, but we're still good buddies. He apologised after he did it and said that he won't do it again for at least a week. <laughs> I gained first match as a Melee of Dragon's March's Odyssey Legend Seed. So it's my own Dragon Seed. Sure, I can make one for my father instead. Yes, there we go. Start trying to spread one about. So yeah, that's the uh, Arbiter Holy Sight one we've seen. It costs 14 a month. Holy crap. These legends are expensive. What the hell? But it gets a legend spread chance of plus 40, so I guess we, we go for it. That's crazy how expensive it, it, it can be. What does it give us, though? Martial... Good barony modifiers and monthly prestige. Yes, I guess we do want it to spread then. Okay, it's going to cost a lot though. I wasn't expecting that sort of price. Jesus. Uh, oof. Just trust she knows what she's doing. I'm not going to... I don't like how much I've been investing in a lot of these to make them work. Go walking with my dog. What about that time? So, tell me, my lord. What about that time? First match of the is claim war against and end the victory. They're surely worth adding to this legend. A great occasion, so it changes a chapter.
Have a go. No one seems convinced. Okay. Go back in the milk of the poppy stupor again. Let's pet my dog. Get my stress down. Oh, never mind. I, I, I forgot what that one does. I'm called the Bolt. How, how, what? Do you not see what is on my head? It's not a wig. I'm as, I'm confident it's not a wig. Come on, it's going to be can get a claim on the entire duchy. Wonderful news. And I try again on here. Just because I think Mir is going to be an easier conquest. Because Pentos... Or rather, Pentos is like an almost too easy conquest. I never knew it was so, these legends were so expensive. Is that the only way they could think of balancing them? Was making them cost that much money. It's signs of spreads down here as well. At least, it, at least it is spreading. And everywhere it, it affects will have station minute arms damage and popular opinion. So not that bad. So Daren is now also promoting the legend. That's a pretty mediocre regalia. But it's better than nothing. Don't really need an alliance with him. It's weird. I've, I, it, it, I'm getting 42 a month, but for me it actually feels low <laughs> after all this time. How long I've been earning such high positive amounts for, it does feel low. Now well, he's doing a grand tournament. Um... Actually, no, I was going to say it's worth, it might have been worth going, but not if it's down. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Why do I own these? How on earth did we inherit these? What? When did this happen? I don't care enough about your book to pay that much. But I'll do a bit of tyranny. Why, why do I own a bit of the... Okay. I guess we'll... That's good to know. I never knew I owned this bit down here. That's fun. And very strange, all things considered. But I guess you don't look a gift horse in the, gift horse in the map. Let's try and get a good axe as well. Why not? This will probably be the last inspiration I'll pay for a while since we do want to save up to try and get... Uh, so I wonder, so, if we can get it up to the very top, then we get extra bonuses, I believe. Okay, so and when it reaches 100, we can upgrade it, which uh, gains access to launch a legendary adventure. Not going to do that. 20 legitimacy for legend protagonist. Access Commission Legend Artifact Decision, create a chronicle for it, and gain legitimacy. Okay, that's not that bad. More and more, it, it's, it is spreading. It is very clearly spreading. I at least want it to spread through Pantos, because, I mean, my father is worthy of all of this claim. I mean, this man did incredible things in his life. Few can deny that. This is my son, and it would actually work. 
The stable building in the town is not way. It's always going to say that though, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's it's the problem is this Magister's Harbour has to be my primary title. Which does mean, to be fair, it doesn't mean I need to move my capital there. It just has to be my primary title. Which means that in order to do that, I'd have to... I don't think you can make it your primary title. I guess maybe moving Roman capital would make it the primary title, but... I believe changing baronies uh, to make that the lead title would also work. If you were... That small. Why do I have to pay 200 coins to a uh, compensate them because my dog annoyed them? That's like thousands of people's yearly income and I'm paying it because my dog jumped on you. Whoops. Oh, Mir is now starting to accept my legendary. Get a second book up. The Sea Drake Revelry. Prestige, courtier and guest opinion, and a courtly vassal opinion. And a new dynasty. You know, we will end it by deciding what this final dynasty or this next uh, dynasty legend is going to be. Get rightful rulers for control growth, popular opinion. Heroes of old gains a mighty endeavor for Sea Drake legend seed. This legend seed is only for once per dynasty can be used by any member. I think I'll save this until we get someone who's also worthy of a legend, since we've we've already got a legend for our father. And grand weddings are fifty percent cheaper. It's actually pretty good. It means I can give all my sons from now on grand weddings and like my grandsons grand weddings. Vibrant court is good. Obviously, this one's incredibly good. Natural dread is also pretty good. CB cost, pursuit efficiency, and retreat losses just to be better at battle. But this one, if we get this one, we can get this next, which is really good. So I think we get pure blooded just so we can get builders next. But that is where we will end it for this episode. Don't know how much longer we're going to have Melee's quote unquote the bold with his lack of hair. His lack of hair, am I right, guys? Lack of hair. But. He is a very interesting figure that we have had so far, and there is a lot of potential with him. Undoubtedly a lot of potential. And who knows, we could end up having three capitals if we keep going south. If we take Mir as well, we could have... Because all I'd have to do for Mir is give up the jugular and Dragon's Peak, maybe. And then we'd have basically three capitals. Which would be an absurdly good and wealthy situation to be in. So I think I'm definitely going to start working towards that start working our way down with some claims thank you guys so much for all of your support so far on these series i know ck3 gets less views than the ck2 series but obviously the ck2 series has all this editing and all this hard work i'm so looking forward to dragons coming to ck2 uh, ck3 i believe it's not too long until finally dragons will be here and when dragons are here i can assure you we're going to be doing a really really fun series that's going to be as heavily edited as a main series. How Sin is going to keep going, but I'm also going to have a CK3 series as highly edited as my main series. And also keep your eyes out for some other games which are going to be coming to this channel soon as well, which I hope should be some edited and some fun content that you guys will enjoy. If you have any suggestions for names I should give to these three counties, leave them in the comments below. And... Do you think I should be spending all this money to promote my legend, or do you think I should just go pure money, ignore all of this, just so I can focus on um, upgrading my capital? Personally, this thing's spreading pretty fast, so I think it's definitely worth spending money on spreading this thing. I mean, we're already at 60, so we're going to be able to upgrade this really soon. And Lord of Valerian the Blind absolutely deserves it. We'll do a read through of this legend too when it's all finished. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, for all of your support, and I can't wait for you guys to watch the next episode. Until then.